still raw. Whoa, hello. It's my buddy Kyle. What's going on, man? Ah, oh, not much, man. I like the uh, I like the little guitar intro. You're like a guitar guy or something. I don't know. I don't know, man. You got you got a guitar on? Uh, I do actually. Let me uh, let me let's see. Do we want a nylon string or steel string? Whatever you want. Let me put my headphones down real quick, and I will grab it. This is an experiment I'm making. <laughs> oh, yeah. do what we got to do man right dude that is awesome <sighs> how are you doing man i'm hanging in there man hanging in there I feel like i feel like the guitar is a little out of tune or you've either got a capo on or something but no i'm uh, in standard you're in standard yeah here's my here, here's my here's my a string if that's what you want there we go Dude, I'm gonna jam in G major. Give me something beautiful. I've ever jammed from this far away from somebody ever. It, it's pretty impressive. I know. I've never done this. Definitely getting a little feedback. Hey man, what do you expect here? That's what blind sweaters does, man. Totally. You're sweating through this one. Oh, 
We are in. We are here. We'll be here all week. How's everybody, going? How's everybody out there? We are officially. We are. We finally, man. We finally. It, it only took till episode number four to break out the guitars, but it's about freaking time, man. Hey, man. You've been talking about these runs and these swims and these you know, amazing. <laughs> amazing adventures on a on a bicycle for for the last three episodes now and i just yeah i feel like i've been hot a bit i've been like hogging the the spotlight bro like we need to actually like show you off or something no this is not about showing off this is about Ah, this is about totally this is about art and creation and and sweating in real time i love it being spontaneous and that Mm -hmm. is what we do here dude how's your morning been you said you had a lot going on Ah, ah, it's not too, not not too terrible. Just uh, wanted to squeeze in a, wanted to squeeze in a six mile run. Um, oh, oh this no, big morning. Deal. no big yeah, deal. Yeah, yeah. So I had to had to log that in, and then I have a I have a uh, I have a pretty hard two hour bike coming up this afternoon, and then I got to put my got to put my tandem together uh, because my uh, uh, my primary race guide is coming into town for a week of training before we head off to Japan next week um so yeah just just uh just a few things going on so i wanted to, to get my, knock out my run first thing this morning and then i you know you, you don't want a uh, grumpy uh hangry kyle on uh on a blind sweaters episode Oh, contraire i would love that <laughs> <laughs> what does it take to put uh, your tandem together what is what all goes into that um it's just so my uh so my tandem is actually pretty cool. It's um, it, it's made by a company called Cycles Chinook. Um, a cool name. Yeah, it's it's a freaking awesome name, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> and we uh, and what we did was for ease of travel, um, we built it so that it breaks in half, um, and it can fit into basically a standard bike case for traveling. um wow yeah yeah so it uh so i just gotta pull it out of the case and you know put it together uh put the wheels on connect all the connect all the cables make sure the thing is shifting uh correctly because i have like bluetooth uh shifters so that's kind of that's kind of fun yeah Um, so just gotta make sure batteries are all charged and all that so yeah that sounds sounds quite high tech it's uh bicycling has gotten a little bit more high tech than uh, than it than it was back when I first started, you know, pedaling a tandem around when I was like seven or eight years old. So, um, dude, how do Bluetooth shifters work? Explain that, please, to <laughs> all the people who are just dying to know. Yeah, yeah, no, no problem. So it's um, so that the shifting, uh, so like you know, on a on a regular old bicycle, um you got these cables that run from, you know, the, the things that shift the gears around, mm-hmm. uh, to the actual gears. Right. Um, so instead of having those cables and all those wires, like running back and forth to, uh, to your handlebars, um, there's actually, there's buttons on the handlebars and it just sends a Bluetooth signal, uh, when you click the, when you click the button, um, to, shift the gears in the in the back um to make you know to make it you pedaling harder or easier or something like that so kyle is this legal yeah it's legal (laughs) that's outrageous like that okay (laughs) so ali and i my buddy ali best friend uh we got into cycling like tandem riding pretty hardcore uh right when covid started right when lockdown hit yeah and we were we were going about 25 miles every morning before we go to the gym And we had, we had a really, well, I've had a bike forever that my dad and I got like 10 years ago and we started out on that and it was, uh, it was doing us some good, but it was, uh, it wasn't a road bike. So we weren't able to go as fast, the the speeds that, you know, you're used to averaging. We weren't even able to, to fathom. And, um, so one day, one morning, I think he finally just got tired of biking and he turned into the dirt and just completely busted ass and broke our wheel. Oh, and, um, 
yeah and, cool. and has not gotten that replaced and we, huh. we've been talking we've been talking to a guy so we need i know you were saying a while ago that you've got a guy that could that could help us and i just want i need that that guy's number because that's the only thing at this point that'll hold this whole operation of ollie and i riding together accountable <laughs> because i don't i don't even trust that he wants to ever get back on a bike with me Cause dude, we were having, we were having such fun mornings. We were, I mean, yeah. we, we had a, we had a speaker that was attached to our bike and we would just nice. blast, blast heavy metal, like through the neighborhood, like while like nice. the animals were waking up in the trees and we were just That's like, awesome. we we're, we we're part of it. We we're part of nature. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, yeah, I, I think I, uh, I don't know if my guy is still there at, uh, at orange cycle, but, uh, I will see if I, uh, uh but yeah no it's uh, orange cycle was my uh was my place to uh to go get um my bike worked on when i lived in orlando um and then if you if you want to upgrade your bike um and get like a sweet ass uh sweet ass a blue chinook. Chinook. <laughs> yeah if you want if you want a sweet ass chinook man i i, I can uh I, I can introduce you to uh to a guy i'm pretty friendly with the owners of uh of chinook so Dude, i i like that i i, I need so. a guy i need a guy yeah yeah don't we all need a guy we all need yeah we all we all need a guy <laughs> um what, was your run today on on a treadmill or, or outside or yeah i just knocked it out on the treadmill so nice yeah most most I, I do most of my running on the treadmill um since my guide will be here in town all week i'll probably do the majority of my running outdoors um and now the weather is finally turning uh, a little bit warmer so it, it'll be nice to get out and, and run and are you training for petty are you going to are you trying to go to paris what's the what's the deal yeah i, I am uh, definitely trying to to make it to paris so it's still a couple years away but, uh, but yeah, no, that's the, uh, that's the goal. It's, uh, the road to Paris is a long and, and winding one, but, uh, but yeah, no, that's the, that's the ultimate goal. So, um, ultimate goal is to get, get, get to Paris and come home with some, uh, come home with some hardware. <laughs> what do you, uh, how many races do you need to get through to get to Paris right now? Um, right now, I mean, they haven't released the uh, criteria for qualifying for the games just yeah. yet. Um, but this year, I am right now. I am scheduled to do. Let's see, I've already done one race. Uh, so one, two. Uh, let's see, I already raced in Sarasota. I'm racing in Yokohama, Japan, coming up in a couple of weeks. Um, so that's two. Uh, then I'll race in Montreal, Canada uh at the beginning of july so that's three uh race in swansea wales uh at the beginning of august so it's four and then uh, we have our world championships at the end of november in abu dhabi so Jeez. right now i'm scheduled to do five five major races and then i might sprinkle in um some like local 5ks 10ks um and like a half marathon or something in there but Dude, you, yeah. don't, you don't feel like blind sweaters and this new like relationship is holding you back do you from your training oh, hell no nah, bro hell no nah. <laughs> i don't want to i don't want to be part this... of the ex i don't want to be part of the excuses man i want to be part of the winning team here hell no nah, man this, <laughs> this is this is keeping me going bro <laughs> ooh, ooh, we're back <laughs> you crazy man that's true dude do you um do you do you do you prepare for this at all in your head like do you think about like man what am i gonna ask jared or what am i gonna talk about or you just do you just wing this because you're that awesome uh sometimes i try to prepare but no nah, man i totally make this i'm making this shit up as i go along because you're that awesome correct <laughs> no i'm just that disorganized <laughs> That's a form of being awesome. <laughs> Dude, how, how old were you? How old were you when uh, you went to the Talking Tabs camp? Ah, uh, how old was which, I? Which is how Kyle and I met. Which yeah, my, yeah, my, yeah. My parents had a sweet, sweet music camp for was... one summer that they they should have kept going forever. But and um, yeah, taught people some. It taught uh, visually impaired and blind people how to play some guitar for a weekend, play some yep. drums. Yep. Was there bass? Or like uh, we did have, we had a, we had a bass player. 
<laughs> I think I think there was a bass player. You just played with every band. <laughs> I, I think he I think he did. That's literally what a bass player is. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I mean, all, they, we... all, all they do is just go. <laughs> Uh, right i kid because i kid because i care uh i was i was 15 15 so yeah okay i was, I was 15 so yeah i've been so, uh, so i've been playing guitar now for almost actually right almost right on 15 years so did you know anybody when you went there no i didn't know anyone um i didn't know anyone at that camp uh because i think a lot of a lot of the people were from the like the central florida area and i was like i was from like north i was from jacksonville so i I came in i was like this dude that i you know everyone a lot of other people seemed to know each other um and i was i just kind of like rolled in and you definitely stuck out (laughs) (laughs) i I definitely stuck out somehow some way like who Um, is this kid and i (laughs) And like I, I came, I came, I went to that camp like planning to learn to play guitar and just wound up like drumming into the night with with you and the <laughs> and the old and the old and the old uh, shift comma th- the original shift comma three. So Dude, that is a <laughs> that is a throwback. Baylor, yeah. Baylor oh, my. lead singer extraordinaire. Oh my gosh, so crazy. <laughs> um, but uh. So had you done, had you had an experience like that as far as like doing like a sleepaway kind of camp? Had you done your like hikes? Like, I don't know. Oh yeah. Been, oh okay, yeah. So I had, I had, I had been away at, at camps and, and stuff. Like I, I, huh. I grew up going to a, uh, I grew up going to a summer camp every year and I, I had, uh, I had been part of Boy Scouts and. Dude, I was um, so sheltered. Like that. I hadn't, I hadn't done anything like that. Like as far as after I lost my sight, like being, being the one who was you know, without sight in a group with people who didn't know me was a completely foreign concept until I was like, until I was like 20 years old. Yeah. Honestly, like I was very like in my comfort zone with like people who knew me, people who like grew up like around me when I had sight. And then they knew me when I was losing my sight, like, cause I stayed at the same school. Right. And literally like, I didn't have any experience like that until I went to music school in California. And I was like, just sitting there with like my guitar, exactly kind of like what I'm doing right now. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, Oh, this is you just, you know, uh, being, being thrown into the deep end. And it's like, I have, yeah. I have my thoughts and my skills and hopefully they <laughs> like me. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, just go sit out on the, uh, <laughs> go sit out on the uh the school co- you know the, the street corner with the guitar and a tin cup and the school corner was hollywood boulevard i was <laughs> hey hey you actually might make some money there <laughs> you would uh yeah you would have hoped but <laughs> uh, not really <laughs> no, that's it, it's wild man and i i hadn't flown by myself until also like i was probably like 18 or so and then i was oh like, wow i can do yeah, dude i I had like flown across the world when I was like 15 or something like that. Yeah. Cause I, uh, cause I had actually uh, at that talking tab camp, I had, I think I had literally just gotten back from Kilimanjaro like a month earlier. Really? Yeah, I, I think so. How many people were a part of that? Um, how many people were a part of that? Uh, there was 12, there was 12 of us, I think. And they were from around the country or. Yep. Yep, we were all from uh, different parts of the country. Um, you know, I was from Florida. There were a couple of people from Colorado, uh, a few people from like Illinois, California, Missouri, all you know, just all over the place. So, do you snow ski? I do. You I like do it? indeed. I love it. Yeah, See, I grew I, up. I, yeah, one of my uh, my parents. What one of the things they did. Uh, for us growing up was instead of doing Christmas presents under the tree, we did a family ski trip. Dude, that so is way we made, better. I, we made, um, we made memories. Dude, I love, I love that. I, I miss, I grew up snow skiing as well. And I haven't been, I actually went the last memory that I have, I was, it was like right as I was losing my sight and my dad and I went out to Colorado to snow ski. Cause that was like one of my, one of my loves growing up just being an yeah. ice hockey player like it, it kind of came easy to me i was like yeah. i was like skiing double black diamonds when i was like five because like just because of hockey and um 
so I went out with my dad and it was like the first time I'd been out on the mountains, like after losing my sight. And honestly, like at that time, it's, it's so easy to just be negative and be like, this isn't the same as it was kind of feeling. Sure. And I just like, remember just being like, I hate this. And yeah. we, and we left and we went, <laughs> we're like, okay, we're going to leave we're going to, we're not going to do this again. We were just like, I mean, at the time it wasn't, it, it just wasn't the time for it. Like you got to yeah. let things, you know, naturally. Where'd you, simmer. <laughs> where, where'd you go? Do you remember? Beaver Creek. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I've skied, and, I've skied the, I've skied the beef. It's awesome. You skied the beef. Yeah. And um, we, uh, so we literally left and at the time we were just like, okay, let's, cause I had just started playing music and we're like, let's, let's leave this and go to a concert. And nice. we went to, uh, we went to see uh story of the year POD and uh Lincoln park, which hey. was, and it was like their Meteora tour, which was like a huge freaking awesome tour. And nice. Yeah. That was, I don't know. He, he was, my dad was always good at like distracting a moment. It's like, okay, this isn't going well. So let's, let's change this scene. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, man. We need to get you back. To, Dude, I need to be on the back slopes, out here, man. I, I believe out here. I need to, uh, I need to get you hooked up with, uh, some of my people at, uh, either challenge Aspen or, uh, Dude, I'm just going to come uh, move in with you. Like <laughs> I'm just going to show up. Kyle. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> honey i'm home <laughs> by the way dude i'm in my exact same attire from last week i just figured this is my uniform at this point of my hey, there you go there you go i, mean, I, I threw I'm, on i threw on some uh, uh, another desant sweatshirt and I, I think i've got on some like i've got on some uh some white, <laughs> white, white nike sweatpants and I, i'm totally barefoot right now this dude until awesome. the show starts until the show starts bringing in some quiche i'm uh i'm sticking to one sweater i'm not gonna invest in any more sweaters oh i hear you there <laughs> i just i I've, I've, I've got like a handful of sweatshirts and stuff so i was just like ah, i'll just keep rotating through these <laughs> Oh, we're going there, huh? <laughs> oh, we're back. Um, <laughs> dude, uh, <laughs> Emily, my, my, my fiance, she, uh, <laughs> she signed up for this, uh, fitness challenge at her gym yeah. and it's just like where they do like three body scans mm -hmm. and she's never had one of those. So she like really wanted to do that aspect of it. And like, sure. and, and then she's just, she's super into to it. Cause it's, it's very new and she's new at this gym and she's got a bunch of friends and she just, she loves, uh, she loves the community. But yeah. dude, the, the other night I, I I'm so throwing her under the bus right now, but the other <laughs> night, cause you know, Sorry, we, we, yeah, to, to, the, to our tent, to our tens of fans. <laughs> Dude, I'm throwing her under the bus just to you right now. I know, I like it. <laughs> so the other night, because, you know, we all like a tasty treat right before bed, like sure. some yogurt, a cookie, whatever that may be. She's been, uh, man, the other day she opened some cottage cheese and I about left the room. I was like, this, oh, is, dude. this just is disgusting. Really? But, cottage cheese before bed? No, thanks, man. Yeah. So she, she's really trying to, uh, win. oh, dude, there's also a $500 grand prize if you like win this challenge. Oh, so she's, nice. She, She's about, you know, she's what's she's the looking, what's the challenge exactly? See, that's the thing. I don't know. I really like I can't tell because if it's like a weight loss thing, I'm like, you're you're not gonna win. And if it's like like there's just I don't know, I really don't have the logistics. Huh. Um, yeah, I don't understand it, but we'll find out when she either wins or loses. But the other night, dude, she she was like, I'm so hungry, like I need something before, but but dude, she didn't have anything, and I was like heat up some food, like do some, dude, she went to the freezer, pulled out a bag of deli turkey and ate frozen turkey with mustard. Wow. And so that, that leads me to my next question in your efforts to ever hit your fitness goals. What is the most disgusting thing you have ever had while trying to, you know, lose some LBs? Cause I have one that like, Dude, I've done some things while trying to lose weight on like tour. I mean, on tour, I pretty much stuck to like raw broccoli and chicken for like three weeks. That's really bad. Um, yeah. Not, not not raw chicken. Let me clear that up. Yeah, I was but, gonna. Say, I, I didn't think you were going raw chicken <laughs> on us, but. Um. But, but you hit, know, hit the, hit the fans with the truth, Kyle. Yeah, you know, I I honestly, I I'm not into uh like the weird like the the only thing that 
I do that people consider weird yeah. is I eat salad with no dressing. Um, do you have like seasoning on it? What, what or are you no, just eating? Like I literally just eat like I it's like mixed greens, like spinach, lettuce, like some other uh-huh. mixed greens, uh, some cucumbers and shredded carrots. And that is so healthy. Yeah, like I and I that like is- I just <laughs> Like that's, that's, uh, like, that's probably the only quote unquote weird thing I do or, or eat. Like I, I don't, um, I don't eat a that lot would of be, weird. That would be stuff, hard for honestly. people to do. I think that would be, yeah, no, it's, 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 it, it, it's definitely weird for, it's definitely weird. Like, yeah. you know, even like my teammates look at me like, uh, like I have three heads. Right. Um, <laughs> But, but apart from, but apart from that, like, I mean, honestly, it was just like, for me to lose the LBs, it was, it was just portion control. Um, for sure. And it was, yeah, you... and it was, and it was savoring. Uh, it was, it was spending more time and savoring each, um, each bite of food and trying to enjoy it more since I was you, having less. You are so balanced. Like it, it really, it, it astonishes me. Um, it really, so have you done intermittent fasting? Because that has at times, cause I've gone really hard with the fasting thing mm-hmm. that has screwed my head up to like the whole, you know, your uh, relationship with food. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I like food too much to even right. try it. So no, dude, I've, I, done I've like, never, I've never, I've never tried the intermittent fasting. Uh, my, one of my race guides went really crazy. Uh, I don't know, a year or two ago, and he didn't eat anything for like 72 hours. Right. Yeah. Um, I was like, dude, no. (laughs) Yeah. I've done like one meal a day for like probably like five months or so. And it is, it becomes so easy and people think you're just insane because they can see your cheekbones. But other than that, like you, you really feel good. You, you don't, you don't ever get hungry. You think you're like, you're mentally so clear. And it's, it's really interesting because you never think about food, but I, uh, the one time you, you, okay. You won't eat for a while, but right. then out of nowhere, you'll just get so hungry. You'll realize how you're actually starving. Like, yeah. Have, once out of every like three weeks, you'll be like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm going to like literally faint and I can't walk upstairs. Yeah. So then you start to crave very interesting things because you don't have any food around and you're like, oh, I need protein. I need carbs. I need, and dude, I one time, this is hard for me to admit, but David and I were trying to figure out like, what's the weirdest thing I've ever done yeah. was because we were making fun of Emily's, uh, frozen turkey pops sure Um, so the weirdest thing i've ever done and this is really bad this is way worse than a a dressing with salad okay i took chocolate protein powder i took almond milk already very very normal we're off to a good start so far yeah put it into a put put it into a bowl okay and here here's where it gets weird i put roasted sweet potatoes in it from the night before okay yeah that's weird man (laughs) <laughs> sorry bro that's weird <laughs> like dude that I mean, like, is... I, like I'll, I'll mix like chocolate protein powder into some <laughs> vanilla yo into some vanilla yogurt but, dude, i was thinking well no here's like, where my mind was at let me just explain where my head was at while i was doing it i was like all right people make these sweet potato pancakes that are really healthy uh dude come on <laughs> I just, I just want to bring you into my logic for a second. Yeah. It was so bad, dude. Like it, it was painful. I was like stirring it around and like, it was just like this sweet potato, healthy chocolate soup. And you don't ever want to have that. And that, this is just a message for the people. Yeah. Yeah. Don't people don't do that. Dude, you're going to Japan in a few weeks. Uh, yeah, I actually leave on Monday, May 9th. Um, uh, that I'll be in Japan for about a week. Uh, so we, uh, so we will actually be doing an episode from Japan. So that's exciting. 
I've never been to Japan. I've I've always wanted well, to go there, especially because guitar playing is like it's a thing there. Like I've yeah. always I've always known just in Japan they they love good guitar playing. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. No, I uh so I've got my uh I've got my Taylor 210 um right here. Yeah. That's what I'll play. This was uh dude, I have a Taylor right now in my hands. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, hey Taylor. Uh, you guys want to? Uh, yeah. <laughs> throw some uh, cashola our way. What Dude, model do you? What, what model do you have? Uh, right. David, what David? What model is this? <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm a guitar playing asshole like idiot. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> David, what am I holding here? <laughs> David's probably like downstairs eating chicken parmesan from last night. <laughs> Ooh, yummy! That sounds delicious. Dude, my mom made a delicious meal last night we went Ooh. we like to go over to my mom's house on friday nights i i like to make her cook up cook up a feast it's good family time and nice. um she was like should i make fajitas or should i make chicken parm and i was like definitely oh, definitely chicken, chicken parm. parm is the way to go man yeah both are great options but we usually have pizza on uh saturday nights while we watch the ufc fights and okay. i felt like i felt like if there was leftover chicken parm i could have that with my pizza so there was there was thought going on into pairing these meals together for the leftovers i like it <laughs> hey kyle this is a taylor uh 414 ce that i'm holding. oh nice that's a nice one man <laughs> Nice and, I was all, and I was also, it's, it's, it's only, about, it's about, it's about $1,500 more expensive than mine. You know, so. <laughs> well, not only was I told what model it was, but I was also told to turn to the right because, oh, oh, a little more to the right. Oh, uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, now yeah. I am officially sweating. I've been out of focus for the last 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, whatever, dude. Oh, whatever. Oh, sorry. I apologize. Not out of focus, just sideways. And to all the people, I don't know the difference. <laughs> ah, they don't care. They don't watch our pretty faces. They just care about our voices. Dude, I've got my, I actually am wearing a Bob Dole mask right now. Oh, really? <laughs> no, that would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I had a Bob Dole mask growing up and I literally was Bob Dole once for Halloween. And that was probably my best character ever for a Halloween. Nice. Yeah. I'm not really, uh, and in, in, in literally not into politics at all. Just uh, thought the mask was frightening. Sorry, Bob Dole, if you, uh, if you're listening. <laughs> Dude, is Bob Dole even still alive? There's no way. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't even know, man. I, that's 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 way back. I don't know. That is that, that, that's the that's the nineties. <laughs> something like that oh man Dude, are you into the news like do you do you even do you are you too busy training to keep up with the yeah. news honestly yeah <laughs> <laughs> i i like i'll occasionally like scroll on twitter and yeah. like catch a headline or two and i'm like yeah that, that's interesting <laughs> I, was, I was out to dinner with my mom like a week and a half ago and she mentioned johnny depp and i was like what's what's going on with johnny depp like i hadn't heard anything and since she mentioned it it's literally the only thing that pops up on my phone oh my god it's like stuff from this johnny depp trial and um like johnny depp's is... in a johnny depp's going through a trial right now <laughs> no seriously like that's how out of touch i am <laughs> <laughs> that's um, like honestly it that's amazing it's dude it's it's more talked about right now like i feel like on the news than uh -huh. things that are i mean i'm not gonna say that this isn't important because it's become so important for like for people it's 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 uh it's the biggest talking piece that i hear that's going on wow and yeah i i dude i'm not even gonna get into what it's about because at the end okay. of the day I don't even know what's going on. I'm just, I'm just sucked into his voice. He's, he's a captivating individual as, uh, as he's proven in time, time after time in movie. Yeah. And I, oh, dude, right. I, never... I, just, I, I just, I like, anytime I, anytime I think of Johnny Depp, I just, you know, can't help, but just, you know, Captain Jack Sparrow, man. Well, dude, have you seen those movies? Like, have you actually, um, I've never, I've never paid attention. I've never even been in a room when those are on. I, I have, I've, I've seen them all. They're, they're all, they're all pretty good. Well, uh the first the first four were good 
and then number five was like okay they're they're trying too hard (laughs) so uh a lot of people didn't like the fourth one um because it didn't have uh what's his face uh orlando bloom or kiera knightley in it um but it had but it had uh uh but it was but it was it was funny man and, and actually uh uh rodrigo and gabriella uh the flamenco oh yeah players they uh they did a lot of the music for it which was which was freaking awesome um uh, uh but then the uh the fifth one was just lame so <laughs> but the uh but yeah movies one through four i thought were pretty solid so well I guess he's uh, a lot like Captain Jack Sparrow in, in real life. So oh, I've, really, I've found listening to these, uh, these, these, tr- the trial to be quite fascinating. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's definitely a good click. I, dude, I hate things that suck you in. That like you're just like, why am I listening to this? I, I'll never meet these people. I don't care about this at all. But, it, it, dude, it's the sound of his voice. He's like, yes, yes. like it, it, it's just this low rumbling voice. Yeah. And even when I'm listening to it, I'm trying to like mimic it. And I'm just like, how could I ever sound like that? It's like, I, I guess I'd have to do that amount of Coke for like 50 years. I guess and, so. And then I'd be somewhat closer, but. I, mean, I, I, like, I like to think I'm pretty darn close to that, you know. <laughs> and, uh... Dude, you are, but we've already <laughs> talked about your voice. You're like borderlining Navy SEAL voice, which. Uh, I don't know about that. Oh, dude, there's, there's this. Uh... <laughs> I don't know if I've mentioned it. there's a there's this new paratriathlete uh who who started racing and like I met him for the first time like back in February he came to a camp out in Colorado Springs yeah and uh and I I, I heard him talk and I was like what the fuck is David Goggins doing here <laughs> <laughs> it, it was it's great like, like voice- he had he had that like he had that distinctive a voice I was like stay oh, on <laughs> Pretty, pretty much. And I was like, oh my God, this guy, his voice literally sounds like David Goggins. <laughs> it, was, it was funny. I told him that too. He was like, oh man, that makes me so happy. Dude, I, I was literally listening to one of our episodes and I was just, I was listening and I was listening to it on very low volume and I was just trying to do your voice. And I was just like, ah, uh, like, yeah. And then, but then occasionally it'll be like, ah, like you go up and I'm just like, man, I, I wish I could sound as masculine as Kyle. Cause well, like, I, I, like well, so, so here, so like, here's the what's thing. The, what's like, the secret? <laughs> <laughs> good genetics. Give us good, the ju- <laughs> good, good genetics. No, Give I, us the I honestly, I have no, I, I have no idea. Um, <laughs> but it's like, it, it's one of those, it, it's one of those things, I guess, just, you know, talking and singing and drinking and all that like my entire <laughs> entire life uh yeah just <clears throat> um wrecked my <laughs> wrecked my voice to a certain extent um yeah. so but uh but yeah it's 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 so weird though like i i, I can uh um like i i can do this like kind of mid-range but like i can't go like i can go a little bit lower but then like i have these like jumps where like i can't um like i can go ridiculously high or ridiculously low uh, but i can't like hit that between the middle and the super high like did I, you, I say, it's, it's you said you do, do you said you you said that you do a great uh dave matthews right uh i mean i wouldn't say it's i wouldn't say i'm a uh, it's a great dave matthews i'm gonna play us a dave matthews song <laughs> oh Oh, look at how she listens. She's saying nothing of what she thinks. She just goes stumbling through her memories. Staring out onto gray streets. She thinks, hey, how did I come to this? myself a million times around the world but i can't get out of this space oh there's a loneliness inside and she do anything to fit it in 
And the rich red blood bleeding from her now Feels like old blue ice in her veins She feels like kicking out all the windows The setting fire to this life for she could change Everything about her using colors bold and bright and all the colors mixed together to rain. There's a little sample for you. Dude, dude. No. I was, uh, I was that, that, that was actually, uh, that was one of my, uh, that was one of my. Uh, That's one of your little, songs. You wrote that. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm taking you wrote credit that for Dave. Taking, <laughs> taking credit for that one. Uh, that one was from a uh, busted, busted stuff that I uh, came out when I was like, you know, a couple years old. It's just a musical, musical savant. <laughs> Dude, my, <laughs> my buddy, my buddy Jake. Uh, he has this game where he sends us voice recordings of. He'll act as he's a celebrity and he'll say like the national holiday that it is. And he's like, Hey, I'm just hanging out with my best buddy, Jake as the celebrity. And he'll say the yep, national yep. holiday that it is. And so today was national honesty day. Oh, and, gosh. and he called as the singer of dude, the singer of the Santana band who sings like black magic woman and sings like all of the Santana hits. And he's like, honestly, I'm just pissed off that nobody knows that that's me. Everybody thinks that that's Santana singing. And, I, and <laughs> it I'm, really is. It and really I'm like sitting there amazing. and I'm like, I'm like, wait, that's not Santana singing. <laughs> There's so many hits. Think about it. <laughs> there really are. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> speaking, of, of, sp speaking of speaking of speaking of Santana, didn't we do a uh didn't we cover Oye Como Va uh Dude, at that yeah. camp? Yeah, like, you know who you know who doesn't sing that song? Santana. <laughs> I know. It was uh T the the original guy was uh Tito something or other, wasn't it? Like Dude, can't, my buddy Jake said like Greg something today in the voice recording. Like, so I, I don't, yeah. Well, no, the like the the original. So like, so Santana covered, um, co covered it from it. Like, I think the original was T Tito something. I I can't remember. Uh, Diaz Tito, would know. Ask ask him later. <laughs> Tito Puente. Tito Puente. Yes, yes. Thank you, Tito Puente. But he's a isn't he a percussionist? uh is, yeah is he also a singer is he now Maybe. now i'm the idiot oh i don't know <laughs> all right who's <laughs> but then Sant but then Sant but then santana covered it um <laughs> and, and yeah like for the longest time i had no idea that santana wasn't a singer he just was a guitarist and uh but yeah then uh didn't uh was it rob thomas that sang dude, yeah does that smooth? like give me a heart rig and real yeah, oh, yeah. Smooth. dude that i thought that was santana singing as well <laughs> yeah yeah i originally i originally thought that too and then yeah i grew up in i thought santana oh. was the singer of matchbox 20 <laughs> dude, you want to hear a horrible mm -hmm. game my friends and i have a game where if you're ever talking about matchbox 20 you have to literally in conversation throw in matchbox one through 20 in conversation until you get to 20 it's the dumbest game you could ever play so like matchbox the, one matchbox yeah you'd be two, like oh matchbox i'm a huge three. but you have to be like yeah i'm a huge fan of matchbox one oh yeah rob thomas the singer of matchbox two have you heard that one song by matchbox like it's it is That's a, funny it, it basically stops all like whatever you're up to in your in your life you have to like literally just stop it all for that Let's uh, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find this recording so we can find out who the singer is of these songs, and you'll hear it from my buddy. It's pretty good. Hopefully, it's not too offensive. Said it's cold outside. I don't know the words to the song. Kyle, tell me if you can hear this. Yeah, I can hear that. This is Greg Raleigh. I'm uh, known for being in Santana's band. I'm Greg Raleigh. Greg Raleigh. I've not heard that. Oye, come va. You know, 
Oh, you call me, Va. It's always been me. I even took Neil Sean from Santana's band and started Journey, but nobody knows who I am. <laughs> anyway, today is Honesty Day, and honestly, it fucking pisses me off because <laughs> pretty fucking cool, man. I'm saying some major hits. <laughs> some really cool shit. Nobody knows who the fuck I am. They think Black Magic Woman was sung by Santana. Fucking idiots. Happy <laughs> Honesty Day is nonsense. I'm Greg Raleigh. Honestly, pretty bummed out that nobody knows who the fuck I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that game was started like about six months ago. And dude, I want to start a channel of just playing these because he's a father of three and he's, he's, okay. got a, he's a family man. And I would just love to start this channel of just playing all of these because they're some of the most entertaining. It's just the most entertaining aspect of my entire life at this point that is, is funny, getting dude. these messages every single morning as it says hello swansons because my buddy will jake and i have a band called swansons it, it started okay. out as av- avant-garde swanson okay <laughs> now we're just swansons and it starts out as hey hey swansons it's whatever celebrity i'm hanging out with my best friend jake and it's national holiday and, and that's that's the whole game and then whatever happens is just craziness Wow, that's awesome, yeah. man. <laughs> Greg Raleigh. <laughs> Greg Raleigh. <laughs> Sang some hits, man. He, he did indeed. <laughs> we need to appreciate him. I, I agree, man. Like, appreciate Greg. Appreciate him. <laughs> oh, what you got going on? Uh, what you got going on the rest of the day? You said you were uh, doing a little cycling and putting together yeah. your bike. Yeah, putting together the bike, got a uh, pretty hard two-hour uh, bike ride that I got to get done. And uh, yeah, apart from that, just uh, doing uh, do, doing what I do, man. I might uh, might noodle around on the old uh, guitar. Yeah, I, I just brought, I made you feel musical today. I, you, you, you did, you did, man, you did. <laughs> I just, my, my finger, like, I'm, hold, I'm holding this guitar. I just, my fingers just can't stop dancing <laughs> <laughs> yesterday was actually national dance day oh was it, it or not. yeah i i did one as michael jackson ah look at you i don't yeah, dance I, so <laughs> <laughs> you don't dance I, I, I do not i actually i am a very bad dancer dude what if you were uh what if you and uh what if you and your lady were getting married would you do a dance then uh against my will yes would you would you like I, I would dance. I, I I would dance with my lady, and that's about the only person oh, that can man. get me to dance. So it's about the only person that can get me to dance. It makes me sad to think that I couldn't get you to dance. Like in a group setting, I feel like I could get you to dance, Kyle. Ah, <laughs> maybe maybe one day we'll find out. Oh man, do you uh? Does uh, Jess ever travel with you? Uh, I mean, like to any of your races, or yeah, I mean, we're like she'll be at she'll be in Japan. Um, so she's racing in Japan, and then she'll race in Montreal as well. Uh, so we'll see each other there. Um, but we haven't like traveled uh with each other to races. Um, but but yeah, we've been at the same rate. Like we were at we were in Sarasota together. Uh, like I said, we'll be in, we'll be in Japan at the same time. We'll be in Montreal. So, but, but yeah, actually, you know what we should, we know what we should do. We should get, we should get our ladies on the, get our ladies on the show. That could be entertaining. Scary. Dude, I'm doing a, uh, scary so entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> we, we actually need to do that. But tomorrow I'm my family, my cousins are throwing me a, an engagement party Oh, nice. and, and I was given like just a mild warning that they're going to be doing like the newlywed game where oh, no. they you know ask you these insanely simple questions about one another and you have oh, to like no. know their you have to know that like their favorite color and favorite tv show and and i'm just like i don't care about that like at all like i i, I don't like what's your favorite color pink oh cool i don't care it's like literally what i said to her i was like at I'm least gonna- at least I- 
at least I know a cup. I think I know a couple of those. I know Jess's favorite color is purple. Oh, you need to take my uh, approach, man. Just you'll get out of it every single time if you just pull the I really, really don't care about these symbol questions. <laughs> say you know yeah, the I I I, like, I, I know I try. say I know your heart, baby. Yeah, I I, I might need to use that one. <laughs> Say, oh, you want me to know that you like Friends, the TV show? I know your soul. <laughs> Dude, literally, she's like, what's my favorite TV show? And my response was, well, basically in the past year, I've reprogrammed you to think that South Park is your favorite show. So that's your new favorite show. There you go. There you go. I like it's it. No, it's no longer Friends. It's now South Park. There you go. Yeah, but what really, just... it's always but really, it's always been the Big Bang Theory. So. <laughs> Dude, what were you just playing? Uh, yeah, that guy. Uh, it's just it's uh, I, I adapted it from uh, so it's a uh, E minor seven, but with uh, so it's an E minor seven, but uh, but I but I'm just playing the the root, the yeah. fifth, and the uh is that the third yeah and then i and then i leave the uh the d string open yeah. and then and then and then slide down play a uh a d a, a d uh a d7 with the open d string yeah and then uh and then play the uh and then wrap the uh the thumb over the top and oh, play nice. a B minor, yeah. uh, B minor suspended with that uh, open B and E string, and then uh, slide over and play that uh, that C major that C major seven on the eighth on the eighth fret. So nice play. It. Let's do it. Dude, we need to get in the studio together. Oh, this dude, is just, we got this is just we gotta, crazy. Yeah, like, we gotta get we gotta get in the studio. We gotta we gotta actually make some <laughs> We're making this technology work for us. We need to be in the we studio. We are, yeah, dude. I dude, we seriously <laughs> we gotta get in the studio. We just gotta get our get our hands on. Oh man. Can you can you imagine what we could do? That'd be awesome, dude. We have everything like like really right right behind me. There's a drum set set up, like with oh. microphones on it. Like we would be it's like a plug and play situation here. I love it. I know. Is I know. it a is it a pretty similar setup to when I was last in the studio with you? Uh yeah, I mean this place is it, this place honestly feels better cuz David's been through so okay. many studios to that he knows at this point like what he wants. Yeah. So I, I mean we uh this is once again a garage made into oh, a yeah. studio and it is uh it's it's really awesome i've been in a lot of situations where we, we actually like have like made from the ground studios out in california that that's where we're we've been like renting or like and living out of and this is just as nice like and david did all of this so kudos nice yeah and um you have like literally like the control room is upstairs there's no window but he's got the camera set up so he can still see us and um nice yeah just nice. creep creep on us nice yeah dude we need to uh yeah i need to uh we need to we need to come i need to come down and uh we need to get what, in the studio when are you able to like take like a week from you know your life and just put it all on hold i mean it's there's no way you're going to be able to train the way you are used to i mean you'll be able to train don't get me wrong you're oh yeah, you will yeah. Not, you'll, you won't miss a workout yeah i know i i might i'm i i was actually thinking about it i'm like i'm i'm thinking maybe like uh so i've got a i've got a race in swansea um 
August 6th or 7th or something like that. And part of me is like, man, what if I just fly straight from Swansea to Orlando? uh spend like four or five days there with you like let's just like whip out a let's like whip out a fucking album yeah um and then uh, and then uh <laughs> we uh I, because i don't need to bring any of my guitars and stuff you've got everything yeah. so uh so yeah like let's like whip out a let's like just crunch and like whip out an album in like four or five days sell that baby um <laughs> and then i fly and then i'll and then i'll fly to uh i'll fly up to canada spend uh spend a couple weeks with my lady and uh that's kind of that's kind of that's kind of where my head's at yeah i don't I like know that. what are you thinking yeah I'm, I'm all in for that that would be great you're saying around august yeah I'm, I'm thinking like that second week of august potentially where is swansea you're saying this like it's common knowledge uh it's in wales so it's it's <laughs> in the uk somewhere Dude, I, I got no idea. <laughs> I don't know my geography. <laughs> Kyle, do you have a globe next to you? <laughs> uh, negative. <laughs> Dude, I uh, man, I feel like I used to know like all the states and I mean capitals, everything. I think I'd still be pretty decent at it. But there you go. Well. Dude, uh facebook algorithms i woke up super pissed at them because i've been trying to figure them out for like two months and i and i feel like okay so about two months ago we were watching a video on how to learn how to how to cooperate with the facebook algorithm and facebook algorithms don't like when you post things that aren't from the facebook algorithm like youtube videos like if we post this basically facebook says eh, in the trash we don't want to show this to anybody oh for sure dude i posted emily's uh engagement post of us yesterday and it was literally like people it was like people thought i had died like yeah. it's like dude people like i have like over 100 likes on this thing i have like 20 comments like oh dude it's insane I know. And I was like, man, I've been literally trying to like get this YouTube channel, like off the ground for like yeah. two months. And I hear you, dude. I know. I'm like, nobody's even seen it because it, anything that I post won't even get shown unless it's, unless they see it right away as it gets posted. But, yeah. but, but something that's like about like, you know, a couple that gets engaged that makes Facebook really, really happy. And oh, then dude, they show it's, it's it to amazing. people. Dude. It's, it's incredible. Yeah. Trust me, man. I, I feel your, I feel your pain. It's like, dude, like I, like I've, I've slapped like photo, like the, like a photo of you and me up from like, yeah. the, you know, and like me, it and means it, nothing. It means absolutely nothing. Like it's like, I get, I might get like five or six likes on it and like one or two clicks and like yeah. I, sl I slap a photo of me uh, like sweaty on a treadmill up and I get like 50 likes i'm like what dude, the hell <laughs> dude it's crazy as soon as i did this and i started like getting i mean there's people who used to who used to come to my shows and people who i haven't heard from in so long started like liking this people who like i was you know i was questioning i was like man do they hate me and it's like yeah. no they just haven't been seeing anything that gets shown to them and so now i'm on this whole other like i, I got this whole other plan i'm just gonna start using emily for every single post i'm gonna be like Oh, me and Emily and I got, yeah, like Emily and I got tag engaged. Emily and everything. Also, this is me shredding on guitar. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> I, uh, I play this, uh, I play a PlayStation 2 game called Streetball. It's uh, NBA okay. Street. Okay. And like, I I used to play it when I could see, and somehow it just transferred over. Like, as I was losing my sight, I was like, man, there's a bell that goes off when you shoot a three point shot. That's crazy. Like all of these sounds would oh, that's happen. Cool. Dude, it's crazy. And like, I can still play it like as well as when I could see. Um, and, and it's, it's really amazing how many sounds will tell you what's going on in the game. I'm like, man, did somebody who was like on the development team, like no, like have like a, a, like a family member who couldn't see or something. Cause do so. And I've been thinking about, cause I started this like uh, channel for betting where I'm like predicting like NBA games and I was like oh I'll, I'll play as like the underdog while playing NBA street and David's like the only way that this would go viral is if you and Emily were playing together <laughs> probably <laughs> he's, probably he's, he's probably not wrong so yeah dude the internet likes love I'm learning it, it really <laughs> it really does it, it's really funny like you know Jess and I were talking about that 
not too long ago uh actually it might have been a long time ago uh because mm-hmm. like you know like we would like we both like posted something like a photo of each, like like a photo of us mm-hmm. together or something yeah. and um uh, and like i it, like i had i think i put it up on instagram and i had like almost 200 likes or something right. on, on this photo of just like us together yeah. um uh, like and but like you know we like we'll you know she's trying to get her her dog her dog training business up and going and like and it's no tough. one's and no, like no so no one cares about it but like you know slap a photo up of you and you, you know of you and your significant other and it's like ah this is amazing so and, and dude it's not even about what people care about it's actually about what is shown to them yeah so. that's what's so crazy it's like it literally will come down to if a few people like it, then it's like, oh, Facebook will recognize like people are responding to this. So we're going yeah. to give give it another chance and show it to more people. I'm yeah. like, oh so man, I don't understand. Yeah. The moral of the story is everybody share. <laughs> share our- love. Share, share love and uh, share that you love blind sweaters. <laughs> no, seriously. I, if, if people don't understand, this is a bromance in the making right now. Like oh, if they don't understand, there's love all over blind sweaters. So, you know, there is man. If we were in the same location, we would post pictures. Oh we my would God. Do- <laughs> there would, it would be a total bromance. <laughs> there would be content like galore. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, Kyle, I don't want to take up all of your day. It's been a fun one. I like this. Yeah, man. I, you know, out, at the end of the day, should break out the guitars more often. Dude, at the end of the day, we just got to keep people on their toes. Totally. You kept me on my, you kept me on my toes. Like, I ah, the headphones, and all of a sudden, you're like. <laughs> Uh, still trying to figure out how to tap on the guitar. <laughs> Show off. <laughs> no, it's it's the model of the guitar, man. <laughs> you just yeah. gotta upgrade. You gotta upgrade your tailor. Hey, tailor. Yeah. yeah, exactly. No, dude, my tailor is like. I'm pretty sure the the neck is like shrinking. The yeah. <laughs> That's the bass player. The bass player just showed up. <laughs> yeah, man. I, uh... Hey, man, can I play? <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, uh, have a beautiful day, man. Oh, uh, uh... same to you, brother. Uh, have a good one. Hey, everyone, like, yeah. as as usual. Give them the uh, lowdown. Give them the uh, lowdown. Yeah, hey, hey, uh, hit that, hit that like button hit that subscribe button uh show us some love on on the youtube uh share it across all your uh, your favorite social media platforms facebook instagram tiktok linkedin what what other social media channels are out there these days uh, live know. journal my live space. journal my space <laughs> pure AOL, volume aol instant messenger <laughs> I love. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, and, if you, and, and seriously, like, if you guys have any questions that you want uh, Jared and I to answer, uh, shoot them our way. Uh, you, can, <laughs> you could uh, you could shoot uh, you could shoot your questions over to Kyle at kylecoon.com or uh, hit me up hit me up on Instagram at Iron Kyle E Y E R O N K Y L E or you can hit up Jared as well. Uh, give Jared a follow on on the Insta. Uh, yeah, wherever, at, wherever you follow yeah. Kyle, just find me. Yeah, there. yeah, just yeah, just <laughs> fo- wherever you follow, wherever you follow me, follow Jared. I'm nearby. I'm somewhere yep. nearby. Yep, and this bromance will continue. <laughs> thanks, man. Have a great day, and uh, you do everybody same, have a great week. And thanks for listening. See you next week. <laughs>